Hey there guys, what's going on here? It is John from JTB Metal 123 here today. We are going to be doing a Trivium discography here because I've been jamming Trivium. And to be honest with you, I've always wanted to do Trivium, but I just never really could get into them. I just, I don't know, I never really, I don't know. I should have got into them, but I just never did. I never really thought like, oh, Trivium's awesome. I, I would hear like a song or two and I'd be like, man, they're, they're pretty cool. But I never dug deep into their discography until now. And I'm honestly just now getting into Trivium, which is crazy to me. I, it, it, it's literally crazy to me. But, you know, don't chop my head off. My bad. I, I should know as a, a metalhead. I listen to metal a lot. But it is what it is. So whatever. We're going to go on to Trivium. So we got we got my boys from Orlando, Florida here. We, we got a... We got some cool stuff going on here, but we have Matt Heafy on vocals, um, lead guitar, rhythm guitar. This dude is just overall Trivium 24-7. He's awesome. We have Brent Young on bass. We also have Travis Smith on drums, and we have uh, Corey Baleu on lead guitar on the um, last two tracks of the record, 13-14. So, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, Ember to Inferno. Um, came out October 14th, 2003, and wow, we have a lot to talk about here. Um, so, comes in at 48 minutes in length, uh, Jason Sukoff's producing it, along with Trivium, and it's really cool, um, I dig the album art, the album art's pretty cool, like the cover, you know, it's kind of got like fire, and Trivium, it's kind of like a classic metal record, you know, it just has that little look to it. But uh, anyways, let's let's get into this one because we have a lot to talk about. So we have a we have two instrumentals in the beginning, the ending, um, which are really cool. They're not too long. I think one's like about thirty seconds, another one's like two minutes long. So pretty cool there. Um, oh yeah, we also have ashes. How can I forget ashes? I liked ashes. Um, but yeah, um, so. I don't know how to start this one, guys, but uh, the the vocals. Um, Matt Heafy really needs to improve on his vocals on this because his vocals, I mean, yeah, they're they're all right, but man, he really needs to work on them. And I, I get he's young; he's probably only like eighteen, seventeen, nineteen on this. Like, I know he's young, but man, those vocals are really bad. But uh, yeah. Overall, the, the production was not the best on this one. You know, it just, the sound quality just could have been a little bit better. It almost sounds like they recorded it like on a four track or something. So it could have been a little bit better. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. But this record, I think the vocals, I think the production, and I, I would have to say the music structure really kind of gets a little bit repetitive after about the fourth or fifth song. But, uh, I mean, you got to respect them, though. It's their first album. They kind of don't really know what they're doing. They're still teenagers. And, you know, they have a lot going for them. They really do. But, uh, yeah, overall, this isn't their best record by chance. Um, I, I kind of just believe... This is probably going to be my least favorite Trivium record. It's probably their first one. But regardless of that, um, they they gave it their best shot. They really tried. They put it out. And honestly, I, I got to give them credit for it. I, I have to. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to give it. Uh, we're gonna give this one like a seven out of ten. Um, I, I highly believe it deserves a seven out of ten. It's not my best. It's not my favorite, but yeah, I think a seven is is where it lands on. I believe it's a seventy, at least for trying. You know, they went in there, they put in all their work, and uh, it's not a bad record. I, I would probably jam it again. Honestly, I, I I've already jammed it three times. I think I'm gonna jam it one more time. Um, so yeah. Uh, highlights of this record, Pillars of Serpents, um, Requiem, Ember to Inferno, To Burn the Eye, Falling to Grey, My Hatred, and I, I like the ending with um, A View of Burning Empires. Um, it's cool. Um, so yeah, definitely want to check it out, guys. Um, this is definitely a part of Trivium's history here. You know, like I said, it's not their best record, 
but uh it's definitely worth checking out definitely check it out so anyways um would i buy it you know actually yeah i probably would buy it to be honest with you just to have the whole trivium discography because trivium is just a cool band they're just cool so anyways thank you so much for watching have a good one and uh have a have a good one um i'll see you guys on the next review we're gonna be moving on so see you guys later bye